getting a little Western on the deck. Another lure company that really understands flash and vibration is Buzz Bomb Tackle. Known out in the west coast for a variety of saltwater species such as rockfish, salmon, even halibut, I've been using it in the freshwater and have great success. Let's start with the Buzz Bomb. The buzz Bomb goes through your line, there's a little stopper and ties directly to your hook. This is incredible little bait. I have this one tied on my line because I was fishing walleye. I was jigging walleye with it. You can jig lake trout with it, northern pike, any species you want. It comes in a variety of sizes. It's a heavy lure, so it's great for getting into deep water and jigging deep water. That's why it did so well on the west coast, or does so well on the west coast. These, uh, the, the buzz bombs here, right now we're vertical jigging but they're great. You can cast them out, jig them back to the boat. You can cast them out, swim them back to the boat. The heavier style, which is one of my favorite when I'm fishing uh, northern pike in the weed beds, is I can go in the weed beds and actually punch through those weeds with a heavier style. And another little tip I found with them, if you are gonna tip them with anything, first, again, I like the liquid mayhem scent on there. But if you're going to tip them with anything, we all have tubs of minnows and you get those little wee little minnows that aren't any good for anything. They're great to, to tip your buzz bombs with and give that added scent or texture or whatever. So don't throw your little wee minnows away. Get some buzz bombs and fish up some walleye. Well, Brennan's spinning us around, putting us back on the, on the lake trout. So we got the buzz bomb and we've talked about how when you jig it, it goes up and it spins up and down, it's spinning on the line, creating that flash and vibration. But in this case, another benefit to it is it's nice and heavy. And when the fish are this active, you wanna get down there quick, do that snap jig and bring it up, fight your fish, back down again. And this, because it's so heavy, it falls fast. It's a perfect lure for lake trout anywhere you're fishing lake trout, especially jigging lake trout. Works great on salmon too, in the very same way. We just stopped here. I didn't bring any of my lake trout stuff. Tied on a buzz bomb because we're going to one of Brendan's, another one of his pike spots. And he said, look at the graph. So on the graph, it showed 59 feet. He goes, no, that's the top fish. We're actually in 77 feet. So there's 20 feet of fish here. So we're going to, we're going to jig up, hopefully jig up some lake trout with my walleye rod. Let me know when here, here's a good one here. Head first. There, that buzz bomb showing, showing its worth now. I'll hold him up for the camera. He's neat colored too. So again, drop it down. In this case, 70 feet of water. Snap jig it five or six times and then just reel and they hit it. They've actually been hitting it 30 feet or less below the boat. That's a nice lake trout. Great colors, a lot of orange in them. Beauty lake trout, we'll let him back. There he goes, all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna drop my buzz bomb down and get another. Fish on with the buzz bomb. Forty-four, forty-eight feet of water, and he hit it hard. <laughs> wow, you want a lot of fun? Bring out your northern pike rod, fifteen-pound line, braided line, and a pocket full of buzz bombs, and start jigging lake trout. <laughs> Wow. And it only, we just moved up here. We moved up, we're just, all we're doing is letting the wind push us, drift us out. Started in 48 feet of water, now we're 52. We might be chasing this fella.
out to 75 feet of water now. We'll get them in the boat, show them to you. We'll drive the boat back up shallower, say 35, 40 feet of water, and let that wind drift us out and jig right off the bottom the entire time. Like I was saying earlier, here he is here. That's a big fish. Yeah, really big fish. I like to uh, really, really smash my jigs off the bottom. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna, that's, that's 20 pound plate or a uh, lake trope. That's my biggest lake trout with a buzz bomb for sure. Jigging, jigging a buzz bomb. Now I'm gonna start over. That's my biggest lake trout for sure. Holy. Whew. Okay, we, we don't have anything to measure him or weigh him, but I'm guessing he's 22 to 24 pounds. And that's jigging a buzz bomb. Let's get him going here. We took a quick picture. Unhooked him, took a quick picture. Get him back in the water. I can feel it. he's strong now, he just doesn't know he's released. <laughs> Let's show you this. So again, heavy. This is, uh, I don't even know what the weight is, the heaviest I have. Smashing it right on the bottom, picking it up dropping it hard, smashing it right on the bottom. And I believe those fish come over and say, what, what's going on? They check it out, they see the flash and vibration, bang. Whether it's walleye or uh, northern pike, lake trout, when you find a school and you're getting them on, regardless of what you're doing, bottom bouncing, whatever, stop once you find them and throw down a buzz bomb. That's a great lure to create a lot of flash and vibration and pick up active feeding fish.